Ooh. And then it was the duty for the guy I had employed mm -hmm. to do, uh, to, uh, to get me the 2000 and then do mm -hmm. uh, everything, even he pays himself, yes. do the, the, the new stock and everything. Mm -hmm. But what I wanted from him was only 2000 shillings. Mm -hmm. So 200, mm -hmm. in 2007 I was having 200 viasks in Kibera, mm -hmm. uh, 15 Kangemi, mm -hmm. almost 500 viasks in Nairobi. Wow. So I was selling Uji, mm -hmm. I had uh, 500 viasks, mm -hmm. and in, on every kiosk mm -hmm. there was an old lady selling vegetables, mm -hmm. my vegetables. Mm -hmm. I used to get vegetables from Kenangob. I bought lorries, mm -hmm. I was supplying my my own vegetables. Wow. I was the first guy to make uh, chips. This, mm -hmm. I used to supply ch nini chips, mm -hmm. raw chips to um, Nando's those mm -hmm. days. Wow. The ones they used to say that uh, the, from South Africa. <laughs> they were not from South Africa. Mm -hmm. They were Livondos. So I used <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so I used to get uh, from um, the, the, nini, the raw uh, potatoes from, from uh, is it Narok, mm -hmm. and then Nairobi, <coughs> and then I had to improvise some sort of machine, mm -hmm. peeling machine, mm -hmm. and then I used to do them in grade, grade one, Nando's, grade two, um, Steers, grade three. <laughs> yeah. And then, is, and then, yeah, and then, and then, and then, yeah, and then after that, uh -huh. because now I was making, I went to into sugar business mm -hmm. because I had a lot of kiosks. Mm -hmm. I did business. I, 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 I don't know if you know Richard Tunyonga, mm -hmm. yes, the MP. Yes. He was my manager. Oh. Uh -huh. He was my manager. <laughs> and I'm saying that on national TV. He was my manager. Yeah, and I used to pay him well. Wow. Uh, yeah. He was the one who was in charge of uh, sugar. I used to, uh, to, to make sure that uh, I get the sugar from the factory mm -hmm. and then we could supply, uh, do all those things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did very well. Mm -hmm. And then immediately after that, I went to gold business. Mm -hmm. Serious, mm -hmm. not fake, mm -hmm. goal. Ooh. Serious goal business. I used to go to Congo, mm -hmm. even now. Mm -hmm. I go to Congo, Kinshasa, mm -hmm. buy gold, mm -hmm. sell Dubai or Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays I don't sell in mm -hmm. Dubai because of them, because uh, the before there was no duty. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's it was, become a bit uh, Yeah, yeah. Now Turkey is better. Okay. So and. The good thing, I'm mm -hmm. from Ikolomani, where there is gold. Even where I build uh, my house, <laughs> if you go there now, mm -hmm. you'll get some gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's about how you set up your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you set up your mind. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad that he's given us basically a lifestyle audit so that uh, we can all understand where the money came from because he was called Mr. Money back, back in yeah. the day. There was yeah. once uh, he, he was in a chopper and it rained. Yeah, yeah. And, and, rained. and, and <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Don't listen to what people say. Mm. Do what you know is right. Because when they came, they t w in fact, it was it in 2007. Mm -hmm when I announced that I was uh, contesting in yes. Langata, yes. they said, no, Livondo, now I think, how can this young man have money? He's a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. I've never seen any drugs myself, mm -hmm. never. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, mm -hmm. if Livondo was dealing with the drugs, I could be, right now, I could be in prison. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So don't listen to what people, because they will discourage you. They will come with so many stories. Mm -hmm. Recently, there was a headline on a daily newspaper. Mm -hmm. Livondo is a friend, not dealing with the drugs, mm -hmm. is a friend to a, drug, to a South African drug dealer. <laughs> and when I did, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to find out, mm -hmm. who is this, who is this uh, friend, of, friend of mine? <laughs> the guy died a long time ago. <laughs> well, well, I guess so, so they'll come up with so many stories. Mm -hmm. But you are not supposed to you do what you know is right. And let me tell you, don't do something that will harm someone's child. Because tomorrow, it will be your child. Mm -hmm. 
and remember to give 10% to, the to God. 10%. Because, because most of young people, they steal even from God. <laughs> Make sure that 10% goes to God. No matter how much, even if it is 1 billion, don't say, no, 1 billion, 100 million. No, no, no. It's not your money. Not your money. Yeah. If you're a Christian. Uh, that one belongs yeah, to your maker. You even if you are a, even if you are a Muslim, uh -huh. you know where that money is supposed to go. Even if you are a Hindu, mm -hmm. you know where that money is supposed to go. Okay, Mahashmiwa, we, we are running out of time and I really want us to open the floor. Um, yes. There is an issue of discrimination which he mentioned. As he said, he is not from a very uh, affluent family back when he yeah. was starting. Many of you are also telling the same story wherever you are. What are some of the, the questions that you might be having when it comes to breaking into the limelight the same way he did? Can we listen so, to some? Uh, let me ask a question regards yes. that. Yes. Everyone, literally, everyone who's successful, they all come from a humble background. Yes. <laughs> Drug dealers, corrupt, <laughs> all of them. We came from a humble background. I started like a hustler. And I'm now here. Everything is okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> so I thank, I thank Muheshimi Livondo for uh -huh. breaking down on how he got his money. Yes. But some came and s saying they started selling chicken, they started doing what? <laughs> Another one said he started saving five shillings when five shillings every day when she, he was like I, I don't know if three years old. How? Yeah. So my question is, how how sure can we believe you that you come from a humble background? Where's the evidence? Uh, Where's the okay. evidence? <laughs> okay, my father is still alive, uh -huh. although I was brought up by my grandmother. Uh -huh. Yeah, but my father is still there, he's still alive. My mother, she's still alive. Uh, uh, you can find out. You can find out. Yes. Investigation. If, if, if investigation. in fact you'll be shocked that um, uh, uh, when I was uh, um, can I say in primary, mm -hmm. I saw a lot serious things that even I could go for two days without any meal. I used to work in people's gardens to make money, at least to buy my own uniform. Mm -hmm. In high school, I used to remain in school, Chavakali, find out from guys who were there, they will tell you. But I, I was good in sports. So everybody, I was a darling to everybody, in primary and secondary. <laughs> So, so uh, I used to get favors from all over, from teachers, from my <coughs> fellow students. Favors, yeah. networks, that's what I'm hearing as well over here. Uh, yeah, and then after that, I had to use the same, same networks. That is, make sure you are next to successful people. Just don't move, don't, just, don't have just any friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, and then about marriage, don't just, get married because your friend uh, or your parents have asked you to, to get married. Uh, yeah. Just organize yourself. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you marry, you are ready for everything. Mm -hmm. D let no one tell you that, oh, you need to, to get married. Everything will find you on the way. How? Let me just clap for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Can we hear from a gentleman? Question. Yes, please. Uh, thank you. You know, uh, currently in our search today, we all know that uh, once you have money, you can vie for any political seat, you can yeah. contest any political seat in say, Kenya. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. Mm. Without minding that uh, in politics it entails a lot. You know, there are things to do with charisma, there are things to do with pers uh, political persona, you should be able to connect with the community. There, are, there is intelligence, there is educational level, because once in, in office you'll have to decide on behalf of many Kenyans or on behalf of many people, your mm -hmm. constituents, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, economical development and such like things. So there is this notion that education doesn't matter, intelligence doesn't matter, uh, charisma, it, it's just money. Once you get money, you can vie for any political seat and get okay. it. Okay, can you take that one? Uh, I think one needs to be streetwise smart because you can, you can be a professor. 
but you are not in touch with the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is, you need to be spiritually smart. You need to understand your mm -hmm. people. And it's not about money. It's the way you have the ability of m mobilizing. Is it a resource mobilization yeah. where there is money and people and everything? Mm -hmm. So it's not about money. Because, okay, nowadays y you may find that if someone gets just even three shillings, say now I want to be uh, an MP or I want to be a governor, it's not about money. It's about how you set up your mind. For example, if you say, okay, as a lady, now uh, you want to be a, a, an MP in Nairobi, maybe you need to do your research mm -hmm. first before you go into it. For example, you want to go to uh, Kibera. You need to know more about Kibera, the people of Langata. You may find out that you have billions and billions of money and someone without even a cent <laughs> will win. So it's how you organize yourself. So on the money side, don't be keen on it. Because they'll come up, and especially the old. The old, you know, and not the very old. You know, for example, our grandfathers were very good. But our uncles were bad. Our uncles are the Kalonzos, the Railers. <laughs> The Msalias and the who? Uh, that, no, 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 no. I'm naming them because they need to know them. They were not ready to tell us on what to do and they're not ready to leave. For example, with the Livondo, I want, when I reach certain age of 60, I want to retire from everything completely. Even right now, I've started retiring. <laughs> I, eh? I've started reti I started retiring at the age of 42. <laughs> because there are some things, there are some things I need to show my children to start working on them while, I, while I'm still alive, when I'm seeing, when I'm still strong. I don't want to be 80 and then that's the time I'm rushing home to bring in my children, it will be too late. So what I'm telling our uh, local politicians, please give, give chance to the young generation. Yes. Yeah, and empower them, mm -hmm. show them. Hmm? I remember when Sakaja was uh, in the university, I encouraged him. Even the day they were saying I was throwing money, I was with him in the chopper. <laughs> and I used to tell him, don't listen to what people say. Do what is right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Yeshimiwa, we are running out of time and I wanted everybody to ask at least one question. I don't know how many we can remember, but can everybody shoot, 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 yeah, shoot, yeah. shoot. Yeah. I'm Patrick. <coughs> Yeshimiwa, I would like to ask you. Hold the microphone Mayor. like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think in our leadership, especially mm. in Nairobi, and the executive leadership mm. of the national government, mm. we have the cartel who sit down mm. and decide who is going to be in power and who is not going to be in power? Because this is where we are losing direction as young people. We cannot be in a position to mobilize the people mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, there is somebody who is sit somewhere and say, this one cannot become a leader because mm -hmm. you not achieve what you want. Okay. Wow. Either you have to come from a non family, from a dynasty, or from a rich family. Dynasties. Okay. Yes. Higher. Next, <coughs> next. <coughs> okay. I'm Isaac Bruno Rudic mm -hmm. from Elgia Margaret County. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is just a, a comment. Mm -hmm. uh, Moshimua said that uh, in every society, it, it differs. Mm -hmm. It means a fanani. Mm -hmm. Like when you see my county, it's not like Nairobi County. What people do in El Kemarawet is not like the way people do in Nairobi County yeah. Yeah. or even in other communities or even other regions. Mm -hmm. What I can say, we need to change narrative, we as the youth. Mm -hmm. Like me, when I joined university, I had no dream of being a politician. But mm -hmm. once I take a course of polit politics, mm -hmm. it, uh, it mobilized me or even it influenced me mm -hmm. to, to call for political 
position so that mm -hmm. I want to bring revolution like the way Pierre Lumumba said, mm -hmm. uh, young people mm -hmm. used to bring revolution yeah. days uh, back ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's why today I, I wish some youths in other, uh, other regions can come together. We have unity so that we, we join the National Assembly and then we table some laws and then we bring change to our country. Thank you. Wait, one second. I really wanted the lady at the back to say something. What is your question, please? Okay, I'll ask a question concerning the environment. Mm -hmm. Let's see, all this we are talking about, we are doing it on the environment. Yes. As leaders, as a nation, what's your role as leaders to do on the environment such that we are doing it, let's see, our county is not as clean as we expect. Mm. What's your role as leaders to ensure that we have a clean town, mm -hmm. trees are planted? Mm -hmm. Let's say last week you were celebrating Forestry Day, <laughs> Water Day, mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. What are your roles when it comes to the environment? Okay, dynasties, what are your roles yeah. when it comes to the environment? The last one? Okay, the Kajiado guy. Did you so sorry? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, to move quickly because yes, uh, we, please, we need to move time. quickly. Yes, yes, we know that uh, <coughs> we all are able mm -hmm. in ma so many ways, mm -hmm. <coughs> but we are seeking that opportunity in order to lead. Mm -hmm. And I would wish to uh, ask uh, Mweshimiwa to tell us how did you go about the party politics and how what are the pitfalls uh, that were along your way yeah. as you moved? Because we know we have the cartels now running the parties and humiliating the young people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, and we know that the parties are the only avenues through which we can seek leadership. Mm -hmm. Again, you talked about uh, challenging the young people to always remember giving 10% to God. How do you give uh, your 10% to God? Do you give it to churches, as we have seen several guys doing it? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, what are the means <laughs> okay. through which you do? Okay. So, yes, Mishima, please respond as you conclude this. Please, please. Okay. <laughs> Um, one, uh, what I need to tell you is, um, you know, if you check properly, uh, nearly 90% of uh, Kenyans, they don't do business. Mm -hmm. They do deals. Ofanya mm biashara -hmm. is 10%. 90% mm -hmm. deals. So now everybody from the university, mm -hmm. from where, kila mutuni, deal. Mm -hmm. So where are we heading to? And this is now where the president comes in and he tells every Kenyan, please do clean business. He manenea deals, that is part of, the deals is corruption. Deals, corruption. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is to make sure we do the right things, something that you'll do for another 30 years, a deal you'll do it for a day, what about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. You'll be forced to do something different yeah. and that is corruption <coughs> or stealing. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it is about um, uh, 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 environment, mm -hmm. it is your responsibility and duty to make sure that wherever you are, it's clean. It's clean. Mm -hmm. It's not about the government, it's not about the government, the county, it is about you as a person. That's why if you go to Rwanda, mm -hmm. it's not about the government. There are three, there are four things you can't do in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. One, juala, mm -hmm. plastic. Uh, plastic bags, mm -hmm. yeah. you'll go to prison. Mm -hmm. Before you go to court, you'll be taken to prison. Mm -hmm. You see, you're not uh, supposed to step in certain areas. The, is it on grass in yes. certain areas? Yes. If you are found, prison. Mm -hmm. The other thing in Rwanda that you don't know, you young men, if you go there, Tongoza Mstana Wenyewe, Toroka, you'll go to prison. Lipa Mar in Urudi, Kenya. You need to know that. Mm -hmm. So it's about discipline. Mm -hmm. It is about discipline. And then uh, about uh, politics. Dynasties. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like that. I remember mm -hmm. when I went to Langata, there were so many stories. Oh, you mutoto, oh, you nani, baba yake ni nani. In fact, they started saying, this guy even is not a Kenyan, he's from, from Congo. 
is from, I don't know, Rwanda. I said, let them say, move on, stand up and be counted. Wow. Be focused. Apana tetameka u, nini, nani, kona pesa, nini. Forget about that. Move on. And then make sure, again, let me tell you something. If you want to break that line, wash it away. Wash it away. I like Even that. Even with, I was in PNU. Livonda kingia kwa mkutani ya PA, ministers wakena kimunya hawa, wakena kiraitu, wananyamaza. Because they know that's a serious guy. <laughs> Kama ni mchezo, fanyeni mchezo inje, mm -hmm. hapa ni business. So be tough, stand up and be counted. Usi ogope ati you are young. Move with the young generation. Usitembea peke yake. Ni usitembea kama, kama umeiba kiti ya mutu hivi. <laughs> Tembea kama shingo iko. Jew. Jew straight. Mm -hmm. Ni uh, wasikuambia upuzi. Be smart and be tough. And be focused. I am also trying to be tough and focused here in <laughs> this segment. <laughs> and then 10%. About the 10%. <laughs> unataka nukwe na discipline. Uh -huh. Now, when you take to church, mm -hmm. Uh, usiangalie ni church gani. You go and give eh, to God. Patia pastor, kama ataenda nunue sukari, kama ataenda nunue suti yake, that's not your problem. Mm -hmm. In those churches, utapata kuna pastors, how do they survive? Mm, Wanaishi, wana survive na mna gani? Unapata, you have 10 cars. Ni pastor, ana, ata ana baiskeli, hana nyumba, you see, it's your responsibility. 10% si yako. Nusiseme, siwezi kupati yu, pastor. Ye anajua kumanage one million. That's not your duty. And let me tell you, God will give you money kulingana na how many people you are going to. Can we clap for him for that, pastor? Thank you for so much for your time. Unasikia? Yes. Unaweza kuwa na a million people. Everybody, kila mtu anataka na pata elf tano, munga atakupatia. Usikuwe worried. But make sure the 10% you get, ato ukikutana livondo wame kupatia 100 shillings. 10! Peleke ya mungu. Peleke kwa hiyo kanisa yako. Yeah. And then ukiona, at times on the street, kwa street, mtu anakuja na mkebe. Seme hui mtu ananiomba umba kila siku. Ni nini? It's not your responsibility kujua uyo ni nani. Do what you are supposed to do. Chukua whatever you have, ata kama uko wawona ya petroleo. Mpate, it's not your duty kujua huyo muta anakudanganya ama ni mkora ama nini. That's not, mungu atatuma malaika in a different way. I like that. In a different way. Please, can we stop now? In a different way.